Three Chinese uh, astronauts are stranded in space. Uh, these astronauts were scheduled to return to Earth after six months, but now their return capsule is damaged. In fact, Chinese space agency now says that it was struck by orbital debris. Our next story takes a look at the dangers uh, to space travel posed by increasing amounts of space debris, also called space junk. China's magnificent Tiangong Space Station, a technological marvel orbiting at over 27,000 kilometers per hour, has sustained a direct hit. The massive orbital outpost designed as a permanent home for celestial ambition was struck without warning. The blow came not from a hostile force, but from a silent, speeding bullet of space debris, a fragment of the orbital junk cloud that now encircles the Earth. The Shenzhou-20 crewed spacecraft was hit by tiny bits of space debris. The impact was severe enough to trigger immediate alerts, forcing engineers on the ground into a state of panic. Initial telemetry suggests the strike may have compromised the integrity of the crew's return vehicle, the only lifeline tethering them to Earth. The three astronauts, already six months into their mission, now face a chilling reality. They are stranded in orbit. Their only ride home may be critically damaged, jeopardizing their complex and dangerous re-entry through the atmosphere. The incident throws a harsh spotlight on the deadly problem of space debris. Earth is now enveloped in a rapidly expanding cloud of broken satellites, spent rocket stages and tools, hundreds of thousands of fragments, each traveling at hypersonic speeds, carrying the kinetic energy of a hand grenade. This isn't China's first scare. Just last year, a debris warning forced the same station to perform an evasive maneuver, narrowly avoiding disaster. Global space agencies have repeatedly sounded alarm bells. NASA, the European Space Agency, and private firms all warn of Kessler Syndrome, a chain reaction of collisions that could make Earth orbit impassable for decades. For the trio aboard Tiangong, the nightmare is real. Their supply capsule launch, scheduled for next week, may now be delayed. Without it, food and oxygen supplies could run dangerously low. Engineers on the ground race against time to bring the crew back. Space the final frontier has turned into a battlefield of junk. Humanity is learning the hard way how fragile that frontier truly is.